State 52, Wake Forest 0. What an impressive performance by the Seminoles. With Dorsey Levins and Riley Skinner, I'm Jeff Fischel. Okay, guys, what a day by Florida State. Over 600 yards of total offense. Riley, what impressed you the most? A lot impressed me the most. What a monster day for Florida State. One thing that stood out to me, though, was a perimeter run game with Chris Thompson that they established. The offensive line did a great job of, of number one, sealing the ends or kicking them out, doing it very efficiently, giving big lane for Chris Thompson to run, and his downfield blocking was tremendous by those receivers. They were getting blocked 30, 40 yards down the field on the corners and safeties, and when you get that kind of help in the run game from your receivers who are that selfless to throw their body out, it springs big yards and big gains, and obviously that was the that was the backbreaker today. They had some big chunks of yards, and good for Chris Thompson getting getting back after that bad injury last year against Wake Forest. Good to see him uh, have a breakout day. Yeah, 197 yards on the ground. Of course, last year he broke his back against Wake Forest. This year, an impressed performance. He says he's actually he thinks he's a little faster than last year. Quite a day for him. All right, the defense only gave up 126 yards total offense to Wake Dorsey. It was a fantastic day on that side of the ball as well. Florida State's defense, very impressive today. We asked some questions about whether or not they could play at this high level against a better quality opponent. So here comes Wake Forest. You have quarterback Tanner Price, career high, 327 yards passing last week, only 83 this week. He was sacked four times. Wake Forest only converted one third down uh, attempt on 16 tries. That defense showed up. No Brandon Jenkins, no problem. Only 43 yards rushing as well for the Demon Deacons. Florida State's defense is for real. They answered a lot of questions. <laughs> they only let the Demon Deacons into their side of the field once the entire game. All right, so this one got ugly early. We've seen it happen. Dorsey, you ever been in a game like this where it just gets out of hand too fast? Oh, yeah. Yeah, same place, same stadium. <laughs> Scene of the crime doesn't change. <laughs> Against Florida State in 1993, they handed it to us. Florida State 51 to nothing down there uh, in that stadium. And it was, I felt bad. I wanted to leave. I wanted to get on the bus. I couldn't get on the bus fast enough. So I feel for Wake Forest when you're out of the game early, it's over, and you can't do anything. You look at the clock hoping it'll, it'll speed through, but it doesn't happen, you know? And they had some guys on offense. They had Charlie Ward, they had Warwick Dunn at running back. Defensively, they had a bunch of studs. Our guys didn't particularly block well that day for me personally. <laughs> but they did but that to a lot of teams. I mean, let's be They honest. did. In all fairness to my offensive line and our fullback, they did. It's one of those games you just want to put on a hoodie, put your headphones in, and go straight to the bus. Don't talk to anybody. Yeah. Well, the Knolls have done it now for three straight weeks. They've scored over 50 points, the first team in ACC history to start the season doing that. Next week, it gets a lot more interesting. The Knolls take on Clemson. All right, with Dorsey Levins and Riley Skinner, I'm Jeff Fischel. You're watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.